Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Lisa's Ladle. If you're new to this channel, you're going to find out what are some of the challenges to cooking your favorite recipes on a boat. If you visited my galley before, hey, welcome back. Thanks for returning. And if you're new, welcome aboard. Today's recipe is gluten-free German pancake. It's a little different today. I'm going to do a dessert German pancake and I'm going to do almost kind of traditional German pancake in a cast iron skillet. So I'm basically taking one recipe and making two different recipes out of it. So let's find out what our ingredients are. This side is going to be our dessert type German pancake and this is going to be our regular cast iron skillet German pancake. Three eggs and they're beaten. Two tablespoons of white sugar. This is one tablespoon of butter and it's melted for this side of the recipe because this is a half of cup of Bisquick. This is the gluten-free Bisquick because as you know this season is all gluten-free one teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a cup of almond milk. For your regular, traditional, somewhat tra traditional German pancake, same thing, the three beaten eggs, two tablespoons of sugar, and I didn't melt this butter because that's gonna melt in the cast iron skillet when we get to that point, and then a half a cup of the regular gluten-free all-purpose flour, and one teaspoon of vanilla, and a half of cup of almond milk. So let's get our aprons on and start cooking, guys. You're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and get that started while we whip these eggs and flour together. I'm using a silicone bunt pan. And with the silicone, you don't have to pre-grease it or anything which is really nice. This is gonna be our dessert German pancake. It's not super sweet because it is a German pancake recipe that I've tweaked a little bit. Uh, however, when I bake it like this and use the Bisquick, it is a little sweet if you put a little bit of powdered sugar on it, you can put jam or jelly on it, or syrup. David's even put syrup on it. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. The last time I made it and put it in this pan, I actually put icing on it, chocolate icing, and that made it really good. So we're gonna set this aside while our oven is preheating, and we're gonna get the pancake ready for the skillet. Save our butter because we're going to preheat this and melt this in the cast iron skillet. It's really interesting how these, it's almost the same exact ingredients. The only difference is gluten free bisquick and gluten free all purpose baking flour. One kind of creates a spongy dessert, and then the other one is going to be like a flat German pancake really similar to like a crepe. You want to melt your butter in your cast iron skillet. Once it's melted, then we're gonna pour the pancake batter into the skillet. Kind of let the bottom set a little bit and then we're gonna bake everything in the oven for about 18 minutes. Our German pancake is heating up. I'm kind of getting the bottom set in the cast iron skillet, waiting for the oven to preheat. By the time it's preheated, then we'll be able to put the dessert German pancake and the breakfast uh, German pancake in the oven. I have the flame set at medium high. We don't really want to cook it. We just want to kind of get the bottom set. And just like that, 18 minutes. 
Let's go ahead and take them both out of the oven. We're going to let them cool for about five minutes. Let's take a peek and see what they look like. Very, very hot. Oh my, it's going to flatten. But leave the lid on, let it finish baking. Okay guys, very important, let them cool for five minutes. I'll meet you back here again in five minutes. Ooh la la. Very hot guys, be careful. And just like a pro, did you see how easy I flipped that? Woo! So this is not a traditional pancake, and it's not necessarily a crepe, but it's flat, um, kind of like a crepe. So this is the gluten-free flour. And basically what I do is I just cut this bad boy up. If you're wanting something different than a regular pancake, not, a, not as fluffy, it's not fluffy, try it it's it's actually pretty good and like i said you can put peanut butter on it you can put jelly on it powdered sugar now you just cut this up like a pie do a little dusting of powdered sugar jelly if you have some fresh fruit strawberries blueberries or just slap some syrup on there. That's good too, guys. You want me to be your taste tester? Of course. Like I said, something different. Still a good breakfast. Mmm. So good. And it's filling. So let's take a look at how our dessert looks. I love these silicone pancakes. Look how easy. Holy smokes. And then wait. Wait while the piece of dessert sizzles. And so pretty. So as you can see, since I used the gluten-free Bisquick, and you can pretty much use any gluten-free pancake mix, you get a, it's a little bit spongier. It's not as flat, so you get more texture to it. And it's more like a dessert. I wouldn't say exactly a sponge cake because it has a different flavor, but man, it's good. And then what I do is I just use these little lines, slice it right up. There's your, there's your piece. And again, same thing, powdered sugar, syrup, jelly, icing. I made a cake out of this and it was really good and the calories really are not that bad. Uh, I figured up for the sugar-free Pillsbury gluten-free icing that I used that was chocolate and the gluten-free Bisquick. One piece came to 150 calories. That's not bad at all for a piece of cake. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices of cake eight slices of pancake, one serving. Took us less than 25 minutes, something different, and something delicious. Yamola, guys. Like always, live, laugh, love, lick that ladle. I'll keep cooking until I see you guys next time. Ignore the clock and the things that define me